ever since Battlefront 2 in 2005. Yeah, you're probably right. Okay, there's some red doors over here. I guess I need to go back here at some point. Okay, another meditation spot. I need to clear my mind. Those random game review websites are always a little funky, though. There's usually like a Reddit thread. Um, Jedi Fallen... No, Jedi Survivor. Um, there's usually like a review thread on slash r slash games. Oh yeah, there is this time around as well. Let me see. Average 86%, 88% recommended out of 90 reviews. Really? That seems pretty high, man. An 8.6? That surprises me a little bit. So, if you look at the Steam reviews for this game right now... So, obviously, this is, you know, a different version of the game. But they're mostly negative. So, basically, all the reviews so far are mostly negative. Somebody's saying, the loading screen looks pretty okay, I have no idea what it's like past the title screen because it doesn't load past that moment at all. Hmm. Hey guys! They want me. They've got me. Gaming review websites are something, man. Good to see you. All right. Spoke too soon. I'll take the Inquisitor. Keep that other gunship off my back. On it. We gotta take her out. Can I go over? What am I doing? I gotta take out one of those things, but how in the world would I take out a flying ship? Maybe I just have a knack for, like, finding the worst parts of a game. There's definitely a chance that I am just really good at somehow breaking the game. By playing it in the only unanticipated and unintended way. <laughs> eighty dollars. It's eighty euro, not Brian. That's like ninety dollars. But that fire also looks very mediocre, no? Look how jittery it is. Look at the fire. I don't know if it looks the same on stream as it does for me, but like... Oh, here's the Night Sister again. Casters! I thought you were gonna be the final boss. Oh, not the case. What am I even... How, how am I fighting this? Can I parry? Oh shit. <laughs> no! I don't want to quit playing games! This is what I do for a living! Oh, okay. Well, she said the same thing. First she said, stop playing games, and now... 
Okay, I'm trying to parry her, but it doesn't seem to do anything. I'm not sure what the problem is. There we go. That was a parry, I guess. Impressive. But you're hurting bad inside, Kestis. I can sense it. All the guilt you're feeling for those fools you led to their deaths makes you so, so predictable. Fucking Dragon Ball Z character now. Whoa, 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 whoa. So wait, is she allowed? Like if Jedi's are not allowed. Sisters are a Vader project? Oh, okay. What am I... I don't know. What am I doing with these fights? How am I fighting this? I don't understand what I'm doing here. Because I'm trying to hit parries, right? Let me try and see if I can hit a parry. I don't think I can. Okay. I am one hit away from dying right now. Okay. Dual stance acquired. You can now use dual stance in combat. Dual stance allows for fast strikes and upgradable force parry, but offers less total stamina. All style, no Ow. So wait, do I respawn in the middle of fights? Or like, how does this... I was on one HP there for a really long time. No, I do not get to respawn in that fight. Let's go. Okay. Uh, where was this again then? I feel like this is quite a while back, no? Yeah, it's basically like a Souls-like. Yeah, yeah, it really is. Um, I like Souls-like games a lot, but you know, it's taking it's taking some inspirations. I don't think it's quite the same. Literally, Dark Souls? No, 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 no. So you have to actually start this fight. Yikes. You have to start this fight again from the start. I guess I should not be trying to, like, parry her, because it, it just doesn't seem to work. Maybe it's because she's a... Lightsaber connoisseur. That works. Oh, my souls are on the ground? Wait, where? Impressive. But you're hurting bad inside, Kestis. I can sense it. Is this my souls? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I actually can heal using that in combat. Like, I get HP back. Okay. 
She doesn't get staggered or anything. What are you waiting for? You know, I've been dreaming of this. Day. How do I I don't know what I do, but I'm so confused! Like when I read all those reviews, right? And all the reviews are super high quality, like basically greatest game of the year so far. And I find myself struggling with the basic shit. I, you know, I'm, I'm willing to accept it's me that that's not the problem, but maybe I'm just dumb. Yeah, I, you know, you'd, you'd imagine I'm the problem. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. Like, my slowdown ability doesn't seem to affect her at all. Okay. So this is where, once again, I get my double blade. I have beaten all the yeah, yeah, I've beaten all the Souls One games. I'm usually quite decent at this type of combat, but I don't seem to be able to parry her, but she can parry me. Maybe I'm just missing my timings, though. So sometimes she pushes me back and my character's like, Aha! But I don't take any damage? With dual sense equip, hold triangle to automatically parry most attacks, including projectiles? Masana! I hit the triangle key and instantly won the fight? You were a Jedi Knight. Before you betrayed our order. She was very close to dying. That's true. Your name was Masana Tide. It's time to set you free. Okay. Skill point acquired. So I get a double bladed and a single one over here. But how did I separate them? Ah, okay, okay, that's it. Dual wield. So I have to choose which one I want. I could also just have... Oh, okay, no, I thought I could have the same thing set up multiple times. That'd be kind of funny, but no. So I have to do single or dual wield. I kind of like the dual wield. We'll give that a try. So I can change it at meditation points. Fair enough. A great sword lightsaber? That'd be sick. I really like the lightsaber customization in the first game. That was pretty fun. Okay. Where's my meditation Solid location? Force. Um, I did get a skill point. Oh, I, too, I have two skill points available. Okay. Cal recovers additional life when using a stim canister. Hold O to automatically evade incoming melee attacks? What? 
to automatically evade incoming melee attacks? Um, press L1 just before contact to reflect up to two blaster projectiles in a row. Press triangle while in the air. Lunging strike now reaches further. Hold square after a basic attack to perform a powerful overhead swing. Well, there's also the dual wheel tree right over here. Hmm... I don't know yet which weapon I want to focus on. Telekinesis is over here too. So that's for the force. Press L2 and R2 to wrench groups of nearby enemies closer. I guess maximum force is always good. Don't know what I want to focus on yet. What about this thing? Increases the amount of time enemies will attack other enemies while confused. So that's the mind control thing. So this is all locked. Not something I've unlocked yet. Um, I'll go with this one too. So this one over here takes multiple points. Yeah, so this one too I can't actually get yet. So I guess I'll go with this. Improved stim formula. Cal recovers additional lives with a hue. Okay. That seems like a pretty, no a pretty good no-brainer, right? Something you're probably gonna want to have at some point anyways. All set. Oh, I should probably also rest. Good location for a quick little power nap. There's like science fiction highway over here. You think this leads towards my ship? Boat, Bravo. Are you there? Let's get back to the Mantis. The others made it out. They'll meet us at the hangar. If not. What? Hey, nice. I got my own billboard, man. Ma, get the camera. No, 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 it's a billboard, shit. I made it, dude. Zip, zip, zip. Okay, nice. Oh, I get to go to my own billboard? I get to see it up close? There we go. Ah. Almost kissed myself in the mouth. There we go. Ooh. Close. <clears throat> I could use that jetpack, honestly. That jetpack would not be a bad addition to my kit. What? Come on! What? Okay, I think it continues running without me doing anything. I am actually hitting buttons. I'm fairly sure what I should do is just not hit buttons. So I just hit L2 once and he immediately, yeah, he immediately starts running. I don't have to hit X again to start the war run. So an L2 button is an L2 plus an X at the same time. So if you hit X again, you jump off prematurely. Whoa, 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 what am I doing? What is that? I thought it was gonna be my single thrust. That's my single thrust right there. This guy is kind of strong, dude. Yeah, that's probably the, the, the boss ability I learned. Yeah, yeah, that's the auto parry. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yo, I just climb up on a rope with only my arms? I'm a giga chat, dude. 
Game's running way smoother now all of a sudden. Are you guys seeing the same shit that I'm seeing? Oh shit, I was looking at the stream. <laughs> yeah, it's smoother now, what changed? Oh, you played on Xbox Echo Soldier? Another shard. You said you were really enjoying the game, right? So for some reason, I was having some weird performance issues literally until like 10 minutes ago is what it seems. Actually, no. Up until the boss fight. Like, after that, somehow it seems... Smooth. Why does it seem smooth now? I don't understand. Hold up. Did anything... Did any... Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I don't understand. I didn't turn off any of the settings, no. Um, one thing I guess I did change, but I, I already changed that before. Uh, is the field of view. I put it on default. So when you first load up the game, it asks you how far away you are from your screen, which I thought was kind of cool. Um, and I said I'm close to my monitor, and it puts you on wider field of view, rather than default. I'm not exactly sure. Yeah, maybe there's less destruction and whatnot in the background. There's still those flying vehicles. The fire thing is now gone, at least. Maybe fire is the problem? What is it with gaming companies, though, doing the beta testing on their paying customers? Seriously, that's insane. Yeah, why is it so smooth now? What's going on? Okay. So now, now it's a pre-rendered... You see this? Now it's a pre-rendered cinematic and it goes straight back down to 30 FPS at best. I'll manage. What happened to the Inquisitor? Dead. Gaps and the twins. I, sh I should have. They knew what they signed up for. We need to get topside and transmit that intel to Saul Guerrera. That's how we honor the fallen. You're right. Yeah. BD, call the ships. Service I was hoping for. Bravo. You got Overwatch? On it. I've got Overwatch. Alright. I'll draw the fire. Wait, Overwatch 2 is free to play, Cal. Everybody's got Overwatch now. See you in the next scrapper. Mm -mm -mm. Dude, it's so smooth. Look at fucking look at him gliding. Woo! I don't don't get it. It's not a great sign, though. Back in my day, we didn't have day one patches, Chet. Back in my day, you shipped the, the DVD or the CD-ROM, and then uh, that would be the game. You would just have the... That's it? That was no patch? You'd have to find your cheat codes in the gaming magazine that came in the mail next month. I don't believe how smooth it is right now, man. I don't trust it. I don't want to get used to it. I feel like I'm going to be disappointed. <laughs> it's just warming me up a little bit and then, you know, got to get blue balled with 30 FPS again. I need to focus. Yeah, there's no smoke, no debris, nothing crazy, and we're indoors. Suddenly the game runs well. Hey guys! Why did one of them fly across? Oh, it's because my buddy is here. Nice. Wow, why'd you kill your friend, mate? Uh, 
So how did it run for you on Xbox in this section of the game, uh, Echo? Like the the first two hours or so of the game, did they run well for you? Maybe you just have a I don't know. Maybe you're just really smooth yourself, you know? That as soon as you show up on the stream, the game runs better. Echo soldier, dude, such a smooth boy. That's how it goes. Uh, four, four and a quarter, Emily. Uh, four and a quarter inch floppy disks, or eight inch floppies. That was, by the way, also my nickname in college. But anyway. no, no, no. Thanks, Bravo. Eight inch floppy, dude. <laughs> Oh shit, that guy fell out of his helicopter. They're kind of sad. Never mind, they're, you know. It's not one of these Giga chats right over here. Luckily, I was in an animation. Yo, F. Jaina. F. Jaina. No, wait. Thank you for the resub. These guys all have a lot of HP, man. Why is there no reach? My long thrust honestly doesn't have a lot of reach. That's what the ability is called. I didn't call that. There's a way to increase the reach, though. We make a good team. I feel like boat does more damage than me sometimes. The combat seems to be better when I'm with a friend. Jaina? It's a Romanian name? I haven't seen Gabe today, Thor. You know where all of the Romanians hang out, no? So... Can you tell Gabe the stream began? Maybe he forgot. Where's my entrance? Where... This is Dementis, right over here. Maybe I gotta go talk to these guys. Lads, it's Dementis. Yeah, I need to go talk to them. Sorry, lads, I was trying to already uh, go. Okay, we, we found it. Blue. Blue. C95. Nice. That one's all yours, Boat. Had a hunch this might be a hot exit. See you both in the air. Ready? Oh, this has been a great first date and all, but I still haven't gotten paid. What? You get paid for dates? Got what is this? OnlyFans? When things cool off, come and find me. We'll settle up. Yeah. Sure, I can trust you. You saw the intel. A lot more work to be done. Looks like I made the cut, huh, BD? <laughs> Boat? May the force be with you. He said the thing. You're a great fighter, Cal. Let's see how well you fly. We have a little BD1 sidekick, Madame Pew Pew. It's kind of like our uh, space cat or dog or, you know, whatever yeah. companion you want to, you know. Whatever it is. Mr. Merton! Yeah, we'll until we get someplace safe. No, wait, it's not seven years. That's 84. Math is hard, but thank you for the 82. I appreciate you. That's a long time. Hope you're doing well. Ooh, shit, here we go. No traffic. Looks like this portal's under maintenance. As soon as we breach the surface... Can I fly? I want to fly! Take the risk. We've already overstayed our welcome. Come on! I want to fly! Come on! We got company. On my mark, hit the brakes. We'll drop behind it. Copy that, Bravo. 
Maybe they've seen me drive. That's a good point. Nice work, everyone. Hope that's the last of them. Not a fan of long goodbyes. More coming. I'll peel off. Draw a few away. Thanks, boss. The scene looks like it's straight from 2004. See you soon. We opened the flap to break in a vacuum. That's how that works. No, no, no. I don't think we're actually in a vacuum yet. There's our exit. We're almost there. All coming in from the surface. And our tail. We're trapped. Kills down. We're almost That's his name, just to clarify. He's not saying, Bravo, my friend died! That's not what he's saying. <laughs> Bravissimo, he's dead! Wait, uh, no, no. Took some hits back there. Mind running diagnostics while I transmit the intel? Oh, BD1. <laughs> Applauding the Imperial pilots. They did a pretty good job. Sent. Let's hope this information does some good. So all my friends died on this place? Or on this on, yeah, that's fantastic. I think like one crew member may still live? Or did they all die? Maybe going into one of their cities wasn't that great of a plan. Yeah, boat still lives, I think. Is that the guy from the previous game? Boat's off my table, kid. I liked him a lot. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's as we hoped. This book is a copy from the Jedi Archive. That's great, Seer. Just wish we could have stopped the Empire from getting the rest. Patience. This war won't be won soon. Or by us alone. The galaxy is vast, Troid. And I have seen only a little of what it has to offer. But one day, I will return to Dathomir and whisper what I have learned to my sleeping sisters. They were not invited. This mean. You know, it's not often I break out an old family recipe like this. Well, what do you think? What are we eating? I love that guy. Why is he not here yet? It's good. Could use some more salt. Too much salt is bad for you. It's wonderful, Grace. I'd actually pay credits for this. Oh, yeah? Hey, I might start charging you, Cal. <laughs> Hey, does anybody else smell something burning? <laughs> oh yeah, he was salting his food in the previous game, I remember. He spent like, uh, two minutes just throwing in salt. Aww. I remember our friends too, BB BD One. Remember having friends, Chet? Gyro's failing. Me neither. Any ports nearby that won't turn us in for a reward? Yeah. Friends are kind of people. Yeah, yeah. It's a television show, actually.
that's where you settled down. Bought a couple friends in a multi-million dollar apartment in New York City. Could be a good place to lay low. If anyone knows how to fix up the mantis, it's Grease Dritus. Think we can make it? Okay. I earned a trophy. Let's go, dude. Is a grease. You know how he is about mess. I have yeah, so now the game runs way better, bro. This is so smooth. Look at me gliding through my ship. Back again. Hey, El Toby, how are you? Welcome. Oh, I kind of like this ship. Yeah, I think just the city part of the game uh, runs like shit. I'm actually gonna put it back on a wider field of view. The Ninth Sister, bent on revenge, ambushed the crew. She executed the senator and in ensuing firefights, gaps in the twins were killed too. To buy Bode and Bravo time, Cal confronted the Ninth Sister and defeated her. At the hangar, Cal offered Bode a locator beacon so that the mercenary could track him down for payment after they escaped. Okay, so Bode is definitely going to come back. As Imperials pursued the remaining crew, Bode drew several fighters away, but Bravo's ship was shut down before the jump to light speed. Cal finds himself with BD aboard the Mantis, safe but otherwise alone. So where did the other guys go? Where did, where did everybody go that we hung out with in the previous game? Maybe some of them died, I don't remember. A BD-1 skin? Workbenches. Lightsabers and BD-1 can now be customized, at, wor customized rather, at workbenches throughout the game. You can now change your lightsaber color? Yo, let's go. Workbench is unlocked. You can now customize BD1 parts. And I, I can customize him as well. Let's get this back on the workbench. I can change the outfit for my robo friend. Yeah. That's insane, dude. BD1 is already perfect. I mean, he does look pretty nice. Yeah, he does look pretty cute. I'm not gonna lie, but. Higher quality skins are better, right? So wasn't there a workbench somewhere over on the ship? I feel like there was a workbench over here somewhere. Is this a workbench? Oh, I think this might be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could use a refresh. When equipped, single stance can only you wait. Single stance only uses one blade. Okay. Right, so I unlocked the different stances that I already had unlocked, but... Um, so this is the thing I looted earlier. Ooh, I see. So I can customize this thing entirely if I want to. Oh, that's actually a really cool system. So this is, this is the emitter. This is the switch. I have only one. This is the pommel. The grip. Another switch. Mmm, I see. Do it. But I guess some of these are only really used for two-handing, right? Yeah, lightsaber customization is really cool. Not that you're really ever going to see it in-game, but that is besides the point, you know? This one. What about color? I, I couldn't I change. Ooh, okay. Well, I understand it's only visuals, but it's not like you're ever gonna see the pommel of the weapon while you're actually using it in game. Maybe you have really good vision though. I can change the polish? You know it's there, Loco. That's true. The grip. Okay, there's a lot of colors that you can change. Pristine? I think I'm gonna run a pristine one, dude. 
Ooh. Damn, that is quite pristine indeed. Gives it a quality look. Um There we go. What color do we want to run with, guys? The pink one sounds different. You can have a white one. Yeah, white is kind of cool, to be honest. This is a pretty sick look to your lightsaber, dude. I'm gonna run with white for a little this bit. One's ready to go. Oh, look at him. Can I paint the American flag on him? That would be fantastic. I can't imagine anything better than that. Oh, you can change... Okay, his photoreceptors. White to match loco skin. Yeah, remember that comment from yesterday? I was thinking about that this morning, man. This has happened several times before over the years of streaming where somebody says, Loco, you're too white. I... <laughs> I still don't know what to make out of those comments, man. I, I actually I actually got a little bothered by that. Yeah. Somebody in the chat saying, Loco, you look too white. What what do I what do I do? What <laughs> such a weird thing to say. <laughs> Yours. <laughs> like imagine my skin was literally any other color. Yeah, he probably meant pale, I guess. But still, like <laughs> <laughs> what am I gonna do? It's so weird. He's got a moon watcher. Take it for the 14. It also depends on what, like, yeah, I should go outside. Absolutely not. It also depends on, like, what's on my monitor, though. Because, like, if my monitor has, like, I don't know, I have, like, an empty uh, internet browser open, it's gonna be white. So the, the color changes. It's... I should go outside more. Nah, dude. Tanning, tanning is very overrated, guys. Definitely don't recommend tanning. It's bad for your skin. I feel like this is bad for BD1, guys. Having all of his stuff exposed like that. Being white is a compliment over here. Yeah, I guess it's also a cultural thing, right? Ooh, do we give him ears? I guess we'll give him ears. <laughs> Why does he look so cute when he does that? Okay, I'll turn off all of the protective stuff. Aww. No, 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 no. What's going on, Rosos? Did I rate you yesterday? Was it... I rated someone at the end of my stream. Was that you? I think it was. It was your birthday, right? Yeah, nice. Hope you had a good time. I know it's difficult to grow a channel in 2023, so usually at the end of my stream I try to rate somebody. And you had in the title of your stream that it was your birthday, so... Um, let's see. Oh, I can change the color over here for each of these parts? What colors do I want to go with? What about like... So I have... Oh, okay, so these are different color palettes? That's how it works. So they're color palettes with like five different colors. I'll just go with the default on every single one of them. You can then also change for each of the ones that you... This is a bit funky. Did you say birthday? Happy birthday, Loco. Thank you, response. I appreciate it, man. Yesterday was also the uh, birthday of the Dutch king. So, you know. You share a birthday with him. That's kind of cool. Finally, somebody remembered. Thank you, response. Condition? I can have an ancient beady one? Oh, no. That's kind of sad. I'm more of a pristine... It's funny how, like, 
This is actually very cute. Imagine you could go out and buy a robot like this that just follows you around in real life. All you need to do is charge it. I genuinely feel like this would actually be popular in real life. It's kind of like a dog or a cat. But, you know, when you go on holiday, you can just put it in the corner. What does it do? Nothing. It doesn't poop for you? Yeah. I, 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 I wouldn't be surprised if this is going to be very popular within, uh, I don't know, the next decade or so. Yeah. Especially with the way that AI is advancing, you could definitely have a little personality on this kind of stuff. In the robotics industry, it's very popular. I've never seen it in real life. Imagine you could get your own pet robotic meerkat. Yeah. Every morning you wake up and it's like, you know, scanning the environment. You would get one. You'd be first one in line, meerkats. <laughs> Good texture on this. Ready to show them your new look, buddy? I actually think that's going to be a huge market, dude. Like, seriously, you could have something that would even talk back to you or whatever. It could walk itself into a charger, too. It would not be that complex. I feel like it's already something we can make. We're almost there. Let's and would we, I mean, not me, of course. Not you either. But, you know, people that, you know, get stuff done. So, you know, not you and me, but yeah, other people. Like a Roomba? Yeah, 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 exactly. A Roomba charges itself. A Roomba with legs? Dude, I wish I had a Roomba with legs so it could, like, vacuum clean my, my staircase. That would be fantastic. Yeah, the porn industry will probably be the ones leading the charts. That's true, man. That is very true. They're probably the first ones, and then at some point, it'll be cute robot pets. Yeah, yeah, no, that's... <laughs> time to review our gear. <laughs> You're not wrong, but, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> I don't think you should do your light blade or lightsaber thing in here. I don't think that's a good idea, but... Okay. A little bit of meditation here. <clears throat> what? Did you just... Co no, man. Echo Soldier just roasted my lightsaber. This guy's toxic as hell, man. Someone get him out of here. Kobo. You are so good. What is that? Let's land. No mods in the stream? No mods in the stream, guys. Systems failing all over. Got anything? We're starting sublet engines. Nice one, buddy. Got a purr her down? Is that what you just said? Hold on, BD. Why did you land here in the first place, mate? You saw something outside, so you decided, you know what? Completely fried. We won't be flying again without repairs. Okay, this is us. This must be the outpost. I guess we finally get to see Grease's cantina. Oh, we're on the planet where Grease is at. Okay. That's good. Didn't realize it was the same oh. one. So then, then it is convenient actually. It does work out for me. 
I wish the main character didn't look like a youth pastor. <laughs> what? I wish the main character didn't look like a youth pastor. What do youth pastors look like? Like Cal? He's got a great head of hair, man. You're just jealous. <laughs> he does have uh, that Ed Sheeran vibe going on. Yeah. It's so calm. Bravo would have liked this. He's just hating on gingers right now. Long yeah. way to go. He's a youth pastor, looks young, but undeniable, almost 30 years old. Are you saying I could be a youth pastor? Because I've heard people say that I'm younger than I look. Or... Anyways, you get what I'm saying. <laughs> I've got the BD visor. Okay. While in BD visor mode, press R3 to open the binoculars? A Toronto shell. A that beacon, is one big beast. Yeah, it is. Never target. Now let's reach it. Okay, so I think these things show up again then on the mini map, don't they? Right. So I put the beacon behind the beast. <laughs> <laughs> but I see what you. Okay, fair. BD inoculars. Lucky you don't have the facial hair. That's true, man. Okay, let's see. 